So detox from the West and come to the Philippines. In the West, you will feel a tremendous amount of stress because you have to earn a lot of money to stay afloat. Even if you're making thousands and thousands or over 10,000, a lot of that money goes out for bills. A lot of inflation, a lot of anger, a lot of school shootings, a lot of danger and angry tough guys around, road rage, many, many, many lists of things that are unhealthy and bad for your stress levels, including the pricing. When you land in the Philippines, you will automatically feel the welcoming, friendly vibe of the Filipinos and Filipinas. It's just something that's indescribable. The first time that I landed at Mactan Newtown Cebu Airport, I was really, really, it was the middle of the night. I had been up for 30 hours on multiple flights and I just automatically felt, you know, everything down to the chickens, to the karaoke, to the three people on a scooter with no headlight. It was a party, party night and I could feel that vibe and I felt free. I could smell the ocean breeze and I could just really, really, I don't really know how to explain it, but it was something that is something that I will remember till the day that I die. It really, really changed me. And I thought, oh wow, there's something to this. This is something special. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be right for me, but I certainly was glad that I took that flight. Even as expensive as it was, and as long as it was, and as, as exhausted as I was, I knew that I was in for a big adventure as a 45 year old man that had, you know, been mainly in California, Nevada, New York, and places like that. I was like, oh boy, you made the right choice, man. So at the end of the day, it takes a while, but you tend to walk, start to walk slower. You start to be more calm. You start to kind of be like the locals. You stop dressing in your designer clothes. You stop wearing your fancy watch. You stop worrying about, oh, do I need to buy a Mercedes here? You leave all that behind and you start to just feel, you know, kind of like a local or like someone that you don't care what you wear. You don't care what you drive. You don't really feel that same vibe that you feel of the keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, I gotta get the latest Mercedes. I gotta wear my Rolex. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. You start to just, you know, go on Filipino time. You walk at half the pace that you did. You stop feeling, if you were a guy that was beat down by the West, you stop feeling that low value feeling that your ex-girlfriend beat into your head or whatever it was. You start to realize, no, 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 every girl's looking at me. People want me. People are, yes, sir, hello, sir, good morning, sir. People are happy to see you. And uh, genuinely, sometimes it's not even for the money. I was at a uh, hotel in Boracay when I first got there, and the guy saved me thousands and thousands and thousands of pesos when I rebooked my room online, and it was a downgraded room from the room I had purchased to, through cash directly through the front desk. And he said, no, 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 I'm gonna get that straightened out for you. And I said, okay, this is, you know, this guy's looking for a tip. I put some money on the table. He would not take it. That's the real Filipino vibe. It's not always for the money and it's not always because they think you're rich. Sometimes it's just genuine kindness and how they were raised. So shout out to that guy. And at the end of the day, guys, he works at the Paradise Garden. And at the end of the day, guys, it's really, really something you need to experience and you will feel an automatic detox and a stress lowering level um, at the beach, in the city. Um, it's just something that I can't quite put my finger on it and sum it up in words, but it's worth a trip, a 30 day trial trip. I don't suggest you just throw your life away and come here forever. It's, you know, one size does not fit all. Everything is not for everybody, but I suggest you come here for 30 days, go to four different locations, as I've said many times, if you've seen my previous videos, and just give it a shot for you. Um, the pricing, the women, the men, the friendliness, the overall vibe, you're, you know, I mean, you're in for it, man. You're in for it. And again, one size does not fit all. I'm sure there's certain people that have certain type of money that will just take it as a nice vacation. But for most of us guys struggling, making under 100,000 or, you know, uh, with 100,000, you're a nobody in the United States at this particular moment. If you live in Los Angeles or New York or Vegas or something, you're a nobody, you got nothing. 
Um, if you're, you know, living in Delaware or something, perhaps you can make do with that. And if you're worth millions of dollars, yeah, maybe you can navigate in the United States. If you're famous, if you're Instagram famous, or you're, you know, friends with celebrities, you're in the nightclub scene or something, yeah, you might be able to make that work. But if you're not, there's a better way. And I'm here showing it to you in 4K. And that's what YouTube did for us was we're able to actually show you, not just tell you some, some war story that you don't believe. Now you can actually see the guy in, in Colombia, you can see the guy in Brazil, you can see the guy in BGC or Barakai, Philippines, you can see the guy in Thailand, the guy in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the guy in Bali, and you can see us taking these flights and walking these streets. So at the end of the day, detox from the West and come to the Philippines. I'm telling you, you will not regret it and 90% of people will end up moving here if they have the means to do so. As long as you're not leaving behind your family and you have the proper money to do it or, and or a digital nomad gig or both, you will prosper and enjoy this beautiful country like I am and you will thank yourself every day when you wake up and you have that stress lifted off of your back of that, oh my God, am I gonna make rent? Am I gonna make my mortgage? And, fighting with this one and that one, arguing about Trump and Biden, arguing about the sniffles, arguing about this one and that one, you will leave that all behind and you will be a better person for it and you will add time to your life and you can still go back and visit, you can still video chat with your family, whatever, your mother, your father, whoever, whoever you got in the states that you love and you will be in a much better situation. The Philippines is not what it's, it's not a bunch of huts and you know, no cell phones and stuff. It's a very modern area, very modern city with Western accommodations. You know, it, it's, not, it's not what it's cracked up to be online. The food is excellent. The people are friendly. The accommodations are nice. The women are well put together and well spoken. Everybody speaks English. There is no reason to not come to the Philippines and enjoy what is here in this little Americanized, everybody speaks English. All the music is in English. All the nightclubs are playing American songs. This is not what it is cracked up to be. Don't believe the myth. This is the real deal Holyfield. And I hope that you at least get a chance to experience this once in your life, even if you don't stay here for the rest of your life. This is something that truly needs to be experienced as someone that has been here, boots on the ground, six months. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will catch you on the next one. St. Luke's Hospital right here, the best hospital in the Philippines. BGC, Uptown. Philippines.